So what's the take home message from today? The take home message from today is not just that it's happening right here in, in uh, your own backyard and that we only scratch the surface. Um, and when I say that we only scratch the surface, we didn't talk about uh, work that's going on and making fuels from algae. We didn't talk about things that are using chitosan and shellfish shells to, to purify water and, and on and on and on. There's so many groups right here in our own backyard. But that all of this was done using 12 principles of green chemistry, the 12 principles of green engineering as a matter of design. Uh, that a number of these are being, um, uh, are being patented, a number of these are already being spun out into, into companies. Uh, that it comes back to something that we've said throughout the, the, course, of the, uh, the course of the semester. Uh, and that is that you know, tomorrow, is going to largely be what we design it to be. Today looks like it does today because we've designed it to be this way, either consciously or unconsciously. That uh, the, the basic um, framework of our society and our economy, the products, the processes, look like they do today because we designed them to be this way. We set up design criteria that made it look like this. And hopefully, one of the take-home messages from this semester uh, is that the status quo needs to be displaced. That the status quo is unsustainable. That the status quo is largely um, going very quickly off a cliff. Whether it's we're talking about energy or materials or the wide range of things that we, uh, we discussed even today that it needs to be displaced and reinvented. So one of the things that this semester hopefully has given all of you is the tools to be a part of the displacement of that status quo should you choose to do so. Um, and I emphasize to be a part of that because I'm fully aware that this class is a diverse set of backgrounds and even more importantly, a diverse set of futures. What's really important is that the future needs people in very different roles to make, to make it happen. So maybe you're a chemist or an engineer inventing these new products and processes. Or maybe you're the person who's making the policies, whether it's government policy or industry policy, that is going to enable and empower these changes. Or maybe you're the person that's running the, the, the not-for-profit group that's, that's demanding and pressuring and, uh, and shining a light on the status quo that needs to be displaced. Or maybe you're the person in finance that's going to um, provide the investment and venture capital and private equity needed to make the, maybe you're the person in the, in the, the patent uh, law that actually understands how to provide incentives for uh, allowing uh, change to happen rather than empowering the, the, the current embedded technology. I don't have any idea what your futures are going to entail, and probably neither do you. No matter how much you think you do, it's going to take a whole lot of twists and turns. But hopefully now you have a toolbox that enables you to, um, if you so choose, uh, dismantle the current status quo into a more sustainable one.